Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Platinum Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Let's pick up a ceramic shard here. Let's try and throw it. No, oh, he's turning now. Yeah. Don't see me. Yeah, okay, he didn't see me. He only is aware of my presence, but he doesn't, hasn't actually seen me. Alright, let's hop up here, and then we're going to drop down here. And we're going to collect a spirit emblem, as well as an item hidden back here, which is... I forget. Ungo Sugar. Cool. Now, we can do a double jump and a square button to magnetize ourselves up here. And normally I don't kill this guy first, but it seems like actually a really good idea. Whee! <laughs> Apparently they didn't even notice that. Oh. Um, one is probably going to see me, so let's make life easier by taking one of them out. And now, chop. <laughs> nice. I think I said last time, I, have I even taken a hit? I had taken multiple hits. <laughs> I just hadn't died yet, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's go, um, hang on, let me have a quick look here. Uh, I think it's actually better if I approach from that side and come out this side later. So, I think if you go here... And then you just drop into here. Nice little item on this side, which is Echo Sugar. I also don't know why sometimes the items are <clears throat> in like little bags. And other times they're, um, they're kind of just laying there on the floor. Um, this part's pretty tough. There's not really a great way to go about defeating everyone here. Um, what I might do just to take things like a little bit extra cautiously is use an Ungo Sugar. Just to protect myself in terms of defense. Take this guy out first because he's a he's like a bowman and uh oops, that was bad. I thought that one was a bowman too. Quick. Nice. Okay, now let's pop a healing gourd just to be safe. These two are quite difficult, so watch out. If they use their like axe swings on you. You've got to time your deflections right. Alright, we made it. That's pretty good. Did I take another hit? How much did my healing gourd actually heal? <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's pell it up. Actually, maybe I should have done that. I should just go rest. Ah, uh, but... Yeah, then it... I like to do it all in one go. <laughs> Alright, so there's more on that side. That's right. Um... Let's go around here real quick. I think there's like an item or two inside. There's one. Pellet. Good. Get that back. And... Yeah, that's it. Uh, let's quickly grab that item. And then that way. Oh. Fistful of Ash. Now we can't actually go this way. But I should have probably shown that off. Whoops. So it says it does not open from this side, so we do have to go around. Hop. Make it. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, now this part, this part's pretty tricky as well. Um, good idea is to sort of start from here. Drop down here. There's a dog. I think as long as he doesn't scream out, you're fine. <laughs> that dog <laughs> poking his head through the wall. Good. Um, you might be able to see, but that guy's actually taking a whiz. <laughs> nice little Easter egg there. Maybe not nice, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> um, there's that guy as well. So you can do this, or you can't. How the hell did you see me? Hmm. He's drunk, so better get him quickly. 
Yo. Hi. You want to try and take out as many enemies. If you do get overwhelmed like I am starting to, another good idea is just to run away. Run away! Okay, and they pretty much can't even get over here. I don't think they can open that door. Let's see if we can eliminate their notifications by running real far. There we go. Done. And now they, they're basically resetting to their original positions, I believe. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Well, because it's the guy that's firing arrows at us, let's uh, fire one back at him. Some loaded shurikens. And. Okay, everything should be coming to a close. There is that guy over there who's kind of annoying. So I'm actually going to go for him first. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh no. And I know there's another one to my left. <laughs> oh, hello. Dog. Alright, where are you guys? Ooh, hoo -hoo. Gotcha. Just in time. What the hell? There's like a dude sitting there drinking, not doing anything. Okay, nice. And we're done. And apparently this guy decided to not keep looking where he was going. Wait, who's seeing me? Up there. Ah, uh, oh, okay, yeah. He's one of the enemies we'll see later. That's okay. Alright, Fistful of Ash. Um, let's go this way. I've got a few things to collect here. Some spirit emblems just laying about the place randomly. Oh, hello. Yeah, call everyone else. They're all dead. <laughs> Perfect. This part was actually quite difficult for me when I was practicing because... Um, I wasn't used to the game yet, um, so if you're having trouble, it's just because you're not used to the game yet. You'll, you'll pick it up as you, as you go. Okay, cool. Dousing powder. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> yes, good. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. So, I think I've read this one. I only got one. How many did I have? Two? Yep, I read that one before. This is what we're looking for, the flame barrel. An iron barrel that spews fire can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. <clears throat> so yeah, just like um, Anayama said, uh, he found... Oh, there was a... And this one here too, fell it. Um, there was a flame barrel that was in Hirata Estate three years ago when he, um, when he was a thief and invaded. Um, <clears throat> and if we could find that, then it would be of good use to us. Luckily, we were able to teleport to three years ago. <laughs> three years ago? Well, that's this year. Um, okay, let's talk to this dude here. Okay, so he's told us about a an axe that we can find. Um, and that's going to be sort of around where that eavesdrop symbol is. Let's listen to these guys. Okay, so they're trying to get in. We'll protect those guys in a second. I mean, protect like the people inside in a bit. Let's head back here and quickly grab this Gokan's sugar, which I skipped too quickly, sorry. I will check it in just a moment. This is going to create a nice little shortcut for us. <clears throat> Okay, so if you can make it to that part, you can actually go back and rest and then you only have to fight a handful of enemies um, in order to get your gourd uh, seed 
seeds back. Um, Gokans. So Gokans is a sugar candy made by shinobi hunters of Mizen Temple. Sustaining Gokan's blessing, Gokan's blessing, uh, God, sugar candy made of shinobi hunters of, of Mizen Temple, sustaining Gokan's blessing, reduces posture damage taken for a time. Bite the candy and take the Gokan stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Mizen monks are well versed in the art of killing shinobi, an undertaking that demands a body with an unshakable core. Okay, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, what's in here? Okay, yeah, this is a we, this is very important. So, let's see if drop on these guys. <laughs> okay, so they were having a conversation about whether they're going to burn, burn it down or not. But then they said no because that's a religious thing, and that's where we that's where we draw the line. Um, okay, so let's take them out. Maybe I should have gone for the one with the fire first. But it's okay. There's only one guy in there. Is he a bowman? No, he looks like an axe man based on the way he's walking. Oh, uh, he's a sword, sword stuff. Uh, okay, so I actually did that without even thinking. Uh, that is a Mikiri counter. Extremely powerful. I pressed circle at the exact right moment, and I stomped on his blade, like coin purse here, um, enabling me to perform a death blow immediately. Uh, the main reason for that is the Mikiri counter inflicts a heavy amount of posture damage on the opponent, and... Um, the posture damage is so great on little like weakling enemies like this that um, it essentially makes it uh, an immediate um, death blow opportunity, which is very useful. So uh, we'll learn more about how that works. Um, like I'll be performing it quite a few times later on. But first, let's obtain another prosthetic tool, Shinobi Axe of the Monkey, a heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. Okay, so apparently a lot of people are losing their left arms. <laughs> All right, let's hop over to here. And I've got a few things to collect. Now, there are a lot of rooster enemies in this area. Uh, but do not be fooled, they can be very deadly in groups. So I'm going to kind of take it a little bit safer than I have been. Oh. I think I've demonstrated before that you can actually uh, block their attacks. Oh, they do give experience, so I was wrong about that before. Good. Okay, I threw a shuriken there and then I attacked in order to um, quickly deal some more damage. There's one more here, I think. No? That's weird. I really thought there was one more. Alright, well, that's fine. Um, yeah, I threw a shuriken then uh, just to kind of like stagger him and then threw a few attacks again to, um, to finish that off, so... Decent little technique you can use there for right now. Might change a little bit later though. Uh, so a pellet and an ongo sugar. And okay. Now there's one more thing I think we can do here before we go. And that is we can launch ourselves up to here. Oh uh, well, we could actually just go outside as well. In fact, isn't there? Yeah, sorry, almost missed this. There's actually a light coin purse up here. You'll find this a lot throughout the game, um, these little like nests on roofs. Um, and basically, I think the idea is like it's a shiny trinket uh, for birds, typically like magpies and stuff like that, or crows. And every time you find one, um, it'll most commonly have a light coin purse there. Uh, can I reach this? Yeah, it's crazy how high you can reach. Look, look, at, the, look at the drop here. Look how far up that is. And you can actually like reach that, it's really cool. Okay, and now we can meet a familiar face. 
So I guess before I talk to him, I'll just tell you, this is Anayama. He said that we met him three years ago, and he was right. But obviously he doesn't know who we are yet. <clears throat> Shinobi Deskane, indeed. ここは橋が先に見つけた場所でさ。予想を漁ってください。ああ、そういえばどっかの崖上に30の塔が見えやしたぜ。あんだけご立派な塔だ。きっと中にはお宝が忍ばれてるに違いねえ。橋ならそう
Well, well, I think it's possible, but it's really, really difficult um, without a specific tool. So we're gonna um, we're gonna try and get that first. I only want to attract the attention of this guy, if possible. Let's see if that works on those two. No. That's it. Nice. Not really that worth it, but I thought I'd quickly take him out. Why not? Alright, and unfortunately that's as far as we can go. So, let's run back. Um, and what we're going to do is we're now going to go to the dilapidated temple again, since we've cleared out this area. So yeah, as you can see, that, that shortcut really helps because, look, you're right back here already. Okay, so travel to the dilapidated temple so we can get things going. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. Should be able to finish the episode here and continue next time. Um, oh, hang on. I'm just trying to think. Hmm, which one should I do? <laughs> I kind of, like, my guide has... I'm just thinking which one I should do next. Ah, I'll work it out next time. It should be fine. I'm going to try and learn some skills as well. Undying Samurai Training, Makiri Counter Unlocked. So he can actually, because we learned the Makiri Counter, he can now, uh, we can access another training thing. So we'll do that uh, maybe next time if we have time. Or if we have time, we'll do it this time. Maboroshi. ちゃんと。お前さんの古い記憶を起こしてくださっているだけじゃ。お前さんがどう思い、どう覚えていたか、全てはそれ次第じゃ。見るもの全てが正しく起こったことかはわからん。そういうことじゃ。Okay, let's present our Shinobi prosthetics because now we've got two more. The Flame Vent, a prosthetic tool made from a loaded flame barrel. Costs spirit emblems to use. Deals fire damage to enemies via a short range blast of fire while also inflicting burn status. It is difficult to control the rage of those with red eyes through the power of man alone. They do, however, fear the flames above all else. This tool has the power to make them tremble. So you press R2 and it shoots a blast of fire in front of you. Awesome. And the Loaded Axe, a prosthetic tool loaded with a heavy shinobi axe, costs spirit emblems to use. The strength of the Loaded Axe lies in its heft. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. Strike uh, with R2, swing the axe down from above to strike an enemy, destroys wooden shields. Perfect for where we're going afterwards. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so after learning about three or four, um, not learning, sorry, after obtaining three or four prosthetic tools, uh, he gives you the prosthetic es esoteric text, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with shinobi prosthetic, with the shinobi prosthetic. God, what is it with, <laughs> like, they're missing... Missing words and stuff. Um, grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi, but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. Uh, he never expected to pass these on to anyone else. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi. Hmm, interesting. Okay, 
もはや無用と思っておったが、わからんものよな。I wonder if that prosthetic,、uh, esoteric te text refers to the sculptor himself.、Um, anything else? Okay, no. Same thing. Alright, cool. So, y e p now I don't know why it's telling us about cycling through prosthetic tools when I already got. Ah,、uh, because technically, yeah, the, this one's、um, optional. Oh, they're all optional to some extent. So, yeah, we've got the loaded axe, the sh shuriken, and the shinobi firecracker.、Uh, and we'll have a look at the skills next time and we'll do some training and then figure out where we're going to go. Alright, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 7 of Let's Platinum Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.